best news is once again a story out of the state of Ohio for the third week in a row an Ohio pastor is charged with a crime involving children and sex Ohio pastor charged with running sex trafficking ring using underage girls so Reverend Randolph Brown from Cleveland, Ohio, runs the Inner City Missionary Baptist Church, was arrested by local human trafficking task force and indicted on two counts of compelling prostitution. The date of the alleged offense was August of 2018, and there was nearly a year and a half between the initial action and his arrest. A woman named Joyce Richmond was also arrested in connection with the incident. Brown was also indicted on two counts of compelling prostitution. So again, there is another preacher in the state of Ohio who is doing terrible things to children. This guy um, was uh, exploiting three underage teenage girls who ran away from home. One was 14, another one was 15, and uh, apparently this Joyce Richmond woman was involved in either finding the girls for him or arranging the payment. I'm not 100% sure, but again, just like we talked about with the previous two pastors, this is another case of giving undeserved authority to someone and allowing them to be be alone with children based solely on a belief that somehow they're special and deserve authority and pr will protect your children because of Magic Sky Friend. Right. So, again, um, you so, know, this... But I do want to say one thing. The special agent in um, Ohio said... One thing that I really liked is he said, this investigation should make clear that we will hold all traffickers accountable regardless of any position they occupy in the community. So I like that he was like, you know, too actually, bad you're a preacher, buddy. Wait, so actually I don't like that he said that because that suggests that there there is some expectation. <laughs> wait, because that's supposed to be obvious. The fact that he said that to me suggests that some there is a practice of pastors getting less well, you know, to me i felt the, like he wait, was saying i know but let everybody's me, equal let me before the law yeah but let me finish my thought because the because to me the fact that you have to say that i mean it's good that he said that i mean and it's good that he is saying he's making sure that everybody is equal but him saying that must be he wouldn't say that if this was just obvious, right? To me, if you're saying that you're going against an ex a certain expectation or a certain norm, maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but that scares me that he has to say that. That oh, you're, the fact that you're a pastor is not going to give you any favorite favoritism. You're not going to get any special treatment. To me, like wait, why do you have to say that? Was that an ex was that was that was that an expectation? Was it something going on before? Like, so that scares me that he had to say that. Uh, but again, just yeah, like, I see what you're saying. I right. see what you're saying. So, that, yeah, that's a valid point. Right. But again, but like Rivka said, we every time we mention a story like this, we have to mention um, a few things. One is, first of all, yes, past, uh, pastors and other religious figures in other religions as well seem to have uh, a higher per capita basis of being um, responsible for child sex abuse than other people I just said per capita um, and don't but don't, again don't generalize don't overgeneralize just because somebody's a pastor or a priest or a Quranic teacher that doesn't mean they're child you know they abuse children so don't make don't be too general with your accusations uh, but it is a but it is a problem that it is mostly in religious communities more than other places and another thing that we always point out is that there is nothing 
within Christianity that uh, endorses this. However, that doesn't mean religion is blameless. So there is no verse in the Bible that you could use to support this. But there's two ways that we always point out that religion is responsible for this. One is what Rivko mentioned, undeserved authority and credibility. Like if you, if you look at all the other positions where you allow adults alone with children and you let adults take care of your children, they usually come with a lot better scientific testing like you know you get a license for whatever you a teacher or and even if it's not there it should be there but um you know other other you know if you're a child psychologist or whatever the authority the, the trust that the parents have towards that the other adult that is taking over the, taking care of their children is usually based on something that is deserved authority or credibility but when it comes to pastors and priests and other religious figures, it's undeserved and it be, it's a fertile ground for adults to be able to take advantage of children and abuse them. Because the only reason why you're trusting them with your children is because magic from sky or something like that, right? Um, so that's, you know, you would expect for people that do want to abuse children that this would be the perfect place for them. That's one way religions... Um, causes this problem another way that I think religion especially Christianity um, causes this problem is by giving you a license to sin and this is something Christianity is more responsible for in it than Islam because in Christianity uh, all sins can be forgiven through Jesus Christ no matter what you have done if you believe in Jesus as your Lord and Jesus died for your sins and all sins are forgiven. So it's the opposite of what people say that, oh, you could, re religion gives you morality. It's the exact opposite. Religion gives you a license to sin, gives you the opportunity to co do horrible things and feel guilt free because, you know, God has forgiven you. Jesus has forgiven you. And we're all sinners, right? Who cares? It's all the same thing. Some people lie to their parents. Some people might stole, steal a gum. And some people might just commit mass genocide. Or rape a, whole, <laughs> rape a whole bunch of children. It's sin. We're all sinners. It's all the same thing. Sinchmen. Yeah. So this is another thing that Christianity does. It makes the, all sins seem equal. Like, you know, as, as if they're all the same thing. And when all of it is forgiven, so... Uh, no problem. So again, let's finish. Let me just see if there's any top comment. The top comment no, is by Sean it's saying it's always the ones you most suspect. No, it's not always. I think that was a joke. I hope that was a joke. But yeah, okay, that was the that was our last news. Thank you, everybody. Please share our videos. Please subscribe if you haven't to our YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, explain in the comment section why you're not. I mean, if you watch this far, you, that means you like our content. So that means that you want to see more of our content. So you might as well subscribe. Hit that bell thingy. Like, comment, comment something. Just feed the YouTube algorithm. If you're watching us on Facebook, come on YouTube as well. Comment something. Say, you know, just put... You know, write something because YouTube will like the more you comment, the more these robots behind the scene are like, oh, this video is important. Let me show it to more people. So comment, like, even dislike. Dislike is good too. It's engagement. Um, anyways, thank you guys. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you, Ki Christy, for modding. Uh, thank you, Old Scratch Chris, uh, RPG Smithy, another godless atheist, Mark, AKL561 on Facebook, Eric. Napon, Napon, oh Susanna, who was not there anymore. Angel, thank you for your super chats. Vishnu, Zoro, um, I like the usernames. Anyways, thank you all. Sorry if I didn't re read your name. I love you all, even if I didn't read your name. And see you guys again Thanks. next week. Bye. Bye. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person 
told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos so